Normally, air flows into and out of the lungs through the nose and or mouth. With a normal swallow, food and liquids move from the mouth into the esophagus directed by a precise sequence of coordinated muscle movements. When a swallow is initiated, the epiglottis flips down protecting the airway. The cricopharyngeus muscle or upper esophageal sphincter relaxes and opens to allow food and liquids to pass into the esophagus. Afterwards, the cricopharyngeus muscle closes back up to prevent any regurgitation back up into the throat. However, if any air accumulates in the stomach and esophagus, enough pressure may build up such that the cricopharyngeus muscle may suddenly relax allowing the air to escape up and out of the mouth. This phenomenon is known as a burp, belch, or eructation. Rarely, the cricopharyngeus muscle works perfectly fine during swallow but will not relax and open to any retrograde air pressure. In such patients, they are unable to burp no matter how badly they want or need to. Formerly described by Dr. Robert Bastian in 2019, this condition known as retrograde cricopharyngeal dysfunction often leads to other additional symptoms including gastric bloating, nausea, chest pain, especially and profoundly after eating, socially awkward gurgling noises from the chest and lower neck as though the esophagus is churning and straining to eject the air, excessive flatulence, difficulty vomiting common but not universal. Typical treatment is by injecting Botox into the dysfunctional cricopharyngeus muscle. 